Hi, this is Mr. Guy, and this is the meaning and scope of economics, and this is also the uses of economics. So this is a short slide and a short little video presentation where why do we actually study economics, and what can we get out of economics, and you know, really why are we in this class. And basically economics, we have four uses, or four meanings, and one is to analyze, and that's where we can analyze data, we can analyze the economy, we can look and make judgments about the economy, what type of economy it is, what type of things are going on. So we can analyze and look at the data and look at the information on the economy. We can explain the economy. We can explain how markets work. We can explain how uh, prices are set. We can explain how government um, interference can hurt the markets and we can explain how government interference can help the markets. We can explain things with models and with uh, reports and looking at the economy. We also can predict what can happen in the future. One of our best predictors is not really looking into crystal ball but saying okay what will happen if we cut taxes? What will happen if we do a stimulus package? What will happen if we lower the debt? What will happen if we um, do a cash for clunkers program what will happen if we give a tax break of thirty thousand dollars to people in arizona to buy a natural gas car so we have these incentives we have these tools of fiscal and monetary policy that we can predict what people will do and how the economy will go from there and then we also can describe the economy and we can describe the data we can describe the industry we can look and say okay this movie industry is actually a monopolistic competition market um, where price is not a factor in competition. People compete in different ways. We can describe the labor market and how actual collective bargaining will be working. We can describe many of things, these things. So these are the meaning and scope of economics or the uses of economics. So we analyze things, we explain things, we predict and we describe. And you can use simple models like the production possibilities curve or the circular flow model, or we can use a models that we can generate numbers and have a simulation of the economy. Um, we can do a lot of different ways, graphs, charts, tables, to analyze, predict, describe, and explain. Thanks a lot and hope this makes sense to you. It's a little short video and you have a good day now. Take care now. Bye-bye.